yes uh, welcome back to phone lookout today we bring you yet another video but first of all we want to thank you for always looking out for our videos for viewing them for subscribing now we have all encountered or most of you have encountered a situation where you forget your pin your password or pattern and so choose to hard reset the phone however on setting up the process normally it tells you to verify with the gmail account you opened the phone with before however you also do not remember that because you randomly set up a gmail account when you bought the phone because you just really wanted to use the phone right now let me show you what happens exactly um, yes you go next you're proceeding normally at this point it will ask you to connect to a wi-fi network and i've connected to this hotspot uh, but i've already connected to it already before choose any enter the password next goes to software update then it says checking information this may take a while be patient um time to show is fast to short time when it's done so it brings this thing where it says google verify your account at this point wants you to put the email that you set up the phone initially when it was new now you can't proceed from here because you do not remember the previous account and at this point you're stuck you cannot use the phone anymore so today i bring for you a case of uh, techno uh, this process should be able to help you with the techno phones now the solution is what is called an frp bypass so this is a method will work with most technos but uh, i'm using a w5 flight to get around this situation so at this point what i will do i'll hit back now go for add uh, another network at this point type in any random characters so i've chosen to type some random characters i hope you can see them i hope you can see them i think it's an s i don't know let me switch off the light such that uh, Uh, let me turn it on yes so yeah i believe i've typed s uh, df so i shall hold it to get it highlighted then hit assist now i will go for the assist and that will pop up the google search this is search window hit the tab now uh, i'm going to uh, search for chrome and then pops those options choose it uh it has chosen it then after selecting that it will bring you this page now be sure to uh, uncheck the blue article on this page that tells you welcome to chrome and select it uh -huh. then accept and continue and click that now it brings you and as it's signed to gmail but remember i don't remember the gmail account i used uh, because as it signed to chrome and say google product yes no no thanks now with nothing's hit i'll hit go for the search tab again and search for test uh, d p c now i want version 2 so i'll go for nums log num, uh, number option um, click to get to and i'm interested in the second option i'll choose it now with the second option choose to search for it and i'll go with the first option so that should take me 
to this page now as apk mirror uh, test.ccpip scroll hit download now we download hit I'll come here click here start download mm -hmm. now it here has asked me to update permission I'll choose that and then allow after hitting allow hope you're seeing well uh, it says okay now my file has already downloaded so I'll go for open mm, open then I'll get downloaded it twice but it's okay I'll choose the first one that I downloaded there so it will ask me for permission I'll go inside ah. I check the unknown sources to allow you install the APK and then with that done go back open the APK again install so at this point it is installing accept with the accept button pressed now just wait a moment as the test DPC installs Times it may take some time, but uh, now that we have ours open, open. So here we shall go for um, we shall go for yeah, set some device owner, then hit setup. It takes us to this page, so it asks us to encrypt go for read now at this point I think my battery is low um, plugged in try again so I shall wait it to reach probably 50% and uh, resume this video now it's reached it go and encrypt go to encrypt phone encrypt phone uh, this part may take a while so you could skip forward by dragging the play bar until you have passed this point but uh, if you're a patient person you could wait just to see what goes on now um so it's a process that is common and i believe that i should upload this video because i I know this was a common occurrence. Um, at times, you may encounter a situation where your phone has frozen on the techno icon, and uh, you have no way but to hard reset it to be able to proceed to use the, to use the phone, or you could probably flash the phone to use it. But then again, most people are not were conversant with flashing their phones and that would most cases require that they refer the service of the fix to a qualified technician and which of course has monetary implications i mean no one is going to flash for you for free and should you attempt to do it by yourself you risk breaching your phone or breaking it making it a break okay let's get back now it says encrypting i i hope you notice now this may also take a while yeah so um, oh by the way i think it goes without saying that at this point please subscribe it's a red button at the bottom right okay we are um, just doing some progress it's moving forward so phone is booting up okay the phone is booting up yeah just feel free to subscribe um, and if you like the video if it has worked for you uh, you could leave a thank you uh, comment or if you have any questions Please also feel free to ask. And uh, 
oh if i uh, i was saying if you like the video you could also click thumbs up um if there's anything that you think i may be able to do to improve this video you could also let me know in the comments below okay let's proceed now welcome this is the initial stages we are going through hit skip mm -hmm. so we are going through what would be the normal setup if you had asked us for our email uh, at this point uh, what i shall do is uh, look for a network to connect to connect to my desktop network it's connecting automatically because earlier on i had connected to it now it comes this point set up right now dpc is taken charge so set up your profile okay so um this is connecting again uh, i don't know how i went back by mistake but it next okay i don't know my mistake was part of the process and then i set up the phone then you restart the phone by sliding down now it has again gone back to make startup uh, now this too may take a while but uh, be a bit patient and wait the for well, the phone to do its thing let me wake up the screen and see what's happening okay still reading my charger because the charger is connected to a power outlet ah nice 83 percent okay now just wait for it more now boot up techno powered by android this is good techno uh, now it brings me the language selection so i'll look it's actually the language but region i'll look for my country and after looking for it up okay. let's look for it some more uh, look for it look for your appropriate country where's the one i want to use where is it okay now after finding it simply choose choose it okay there and then go click the red tick uh-huh set up finished skip uh -huh. finish test dcp uh -huh. now that we are in the phone we are going to settings we now have to reset the phone while we are inside the phone but uh, i hit the camera by mistake so uh, let me go back I'm looking for settings what is settings yeah scroll down scroll down scroll down number one to reset the phone scroll down we are looking for we are looking for um, where is it we are looking for backup and reset so factory reset data reset erase everything so it will restart again to reset the phone and at this point two you just have to wait a moment uh -huh. Now it says erasing. It's erasing. 
Okay, raising is synonymous with factory reset. Um, so it's sort of wiping uh, information that may be on the phone. So basically, what test DCP does is helps us in bypass and enter into the phone as though we already had the email or password. Then from inside, be able to reset the phone from inside and that helps the phone think you reset while you went inside because naturally if I had this phone's password or pattern uh, I would reset from the inside and when the phone restarts it would not ask me to verify with the previous email address that was used on the phone and that's how you uh, and you are you are yeah, you're not sort of locked out of your phone but now when you reset it externally the phone probably thinks you either do not own the phone um, or you got it by suspicious means and uh, therefore you would need to verify that it is you who actually wanted to reset your phone by giving them the email address that you used to set up the phone with. Now this is for Technos and uh, I hope it works with most of the Technos that are around on the market. Um, some variations may be here and there but the general idea of the process is the same uh, find a way of getting inside the phone so as to reset the phone and that should be good so what test dc dpc does it's that oh before i conclude this video i think i think i should remind you again it doesn't hurt i guess uh, please subscribe at the uh, bottom right of this video or below this video bottom right uh, if you like the video and it has worked for you please uh, hit uh, hit the like button mm -hmm. if you have any question please leave a comment if you simply think being thankful hit that also so now at this point as the phone is raised you can now set it up next skip and this now should just take you to the normal phones internal functioning and I shall show you when I'm inside the phone uh, and uh, once again, I would like to say thank you for watching our videos, for liking our channel, for subscribing, and yeah. Well, till next time, fun lookout.